Alright guys, what's going on? My name is Cribble Walrus. how are y'all doing? And welcome to the next episode of Mass Effect. We're playing through all three Mass Effect games, obviously starting with the first one. This will be the legend of Commander Mark Shepard, the renegade vanguard, as he saves the galaxy. I've got my Mountain Dew. I have... where is that? I forgot my N7 hoodie in the other room. Darn it. Oh well. You guys aren't going to see me on the webcam anyway, so it's cool. <clears throat> now, where we left off, um, I saved Eden Prime from the Geth and Saren uh, from attacking. So now I need to head to the bridge because we are about to reach the Citadel. Um, oh, Ashley, what's up, girl? After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You don't sound glad. Sounds like you're disappointed I survived. I never want to see anything bad happen to a fellow Marine commander. Let's just leave it at that. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. That's my prerogative, girl. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Darn right. Woman, come on now. No, get with it. One second, I'm gonna up the sound a little bit. It's a little bit quiet on my end. It's like 40, I think. 40 is probably good. Apply. Hope it's alright on your guys then. If, you, if there's um, any audio problems, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment letting me know what the um, audio issue is so that way I can properly fix it in the next video. If you're in the stream right now, feel free to uh, tell me directly so that way I know to, you know, change it and stuff. Dr. Chalk was what up, girl? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No, not really. I should go. I don't really want to talk Goodbye, to you right Commander. now. No offense. Caden, what up, dude? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Okay. Thank you, I guess. To the bridge. We're going we're coming into the citadel. <clears throat> One sec, sorry. Okay. My bad. Boom. Let's go. Come on. Presley? Uh, wait, ex ex examine a terminal. Come on. Yes. Yes. Alright. Joker, bring us in. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. Yeah. See that taxpayer money at work. Mm-hmm. Taxpayer money. Because... I... Do they... I'm curious. I wonder the, how taxes works in the, uh... In the Mass Effect universe. Like... Is it the Citadel as a whole is its own separate government and then they uh, tax each individual citizen? Or is it like each... Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that Citadel, though! The size of that ship. The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Yeah. So, Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying uh, you need firepower too. Darn right. Reapers got both. Look at that monster. Its main I mean, gun could rip the berries in any ship in the I don't know yet. Or do I? Is on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. <laughs> All right. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Alright, I'll resume my discussion about taxes in just a second. Exactly what you want to hear <coughs> about in a um, uh, Mass Effect playthrough. But honestly, I'm curious. Like, I never th put much thought into it until right now. We'll discuss it more in a minute. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. 
I think it's interesting. The council forms like three different um, viewpoints. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. Mm-hmm. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Um, what was, I, what was I saying? It's interesting, it's like each member of the council is one part of um, a whole person. Like, the Turian is the uh, very... Um, uh, decisive. It's it, he's the very direct, angry sort of uh, type of decision maker. You know what I mean? It's like we need to go to war. Well, then let's go to freaking war. Like he's very direct in that term, uh, in that in that manner of speaking. Um, the Asari counselor is kind of like um, the compassionate one, whereas uh, and then the Salarian is a logical thinker, which actually fits their characters very very well. Like Turians are very military like in terms of their. Uh, culture and all that. Asari seem to be more compassionate and religious, while Salarians are very scientific and logical. And then humans are everything. <laughs> They're blind! They don't know about Saren and his geth. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. If they won't stop Saren, I will. <coughs> Dang right. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. I didn't do it. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead, and the beacon was destroyed. Oh, Saren, me. That's Saren's fault, not his. Darn right. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. They wouldn't. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Ah, uh, man. All right, one sec. Turn my mic sensitivity a little bit. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm gonna check something real quick. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. I was just looking at something. Okay. But now, about that tax discussion, like, I honestly want to know how it works. Is it, like, the Citadel individually taxes their own citizens? Or is it, um, that every mem- every, uh, government or race that's a part of, uh, the Citadel government, meaning, like, the Asari, Turian, Salarians, um, each tax, each, uh, all of every Salarian and every Turian citizen, um, in the entire galaxy, and then they- um, they provide to the Citadel a fraction of the taxes they take in from their own races, like, like every Turian, like the Tur the head Turian government of Palavan taxes all of its citizens, and then, because they're a Citadel race, they give a portion of those taxes to the Citadel in, t in contribution. I wonder if it goes like that. That would be make more sense, particularly because there are more Turians, obviously, throughout the galaxy than there are on the Citadel, and so naturally, um, they'd get more tax money that way. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually curious how that works. Mass Effect is so complex and so detailed, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they actually had a working tax, uh, uh, taxing system in this game that they explained on. Hello there, human. Hello there. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's wrong? Wait, no, I gotta be like, uh, an Elcor. Curiously, what is wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. <coughs> Alarmed response. What happened? <clears throat> wow, that was a weird, like, voice crack. My voice, like, weakened. It's one thing I hate about my voice, and that's why I'm saying I forgot how to voice act. My voice, it's like, I'll be going on a cool, uh, steady, uh, train in terms of, like, uh, a voice. I'll have, like, a steady, um, voice going, and then out of nowhere it just weakens, and it just stops. I'll be, like, I'll be, like, voice- I was, like, doing a Reaper impression before. I'm, like, the cycle must continue. 
uh, there is only the cycle. Like, they're right there. My, like, my voice weakens and stuff, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? I finally forgot. Ah, uh, Um. Alarmed. What happened? What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. Too sensitive. sensitive. Suffice it to Suffice say, it she's to compromised say, my authority she as a diplomat. Like right there, voice crack. Diplomat. Where is she? Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Give me your money! Come on! I'm just kidding. Please, greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Aw. I am Ambassador That's very Taylor. kind of you, Elcor. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? That was kind of him to say, uh, not just for, like, me as a person, but it, as humans as a whole. He's like, it is always good to see your kind. How nice of you. How thoughtful. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta turn on my mic a little bit. Alright. How thoughtful. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. But it doesn't even make sense, Volus. You're not even an Elcor. How could you un understand your ways? What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Okay. Elcor, tell me about yourself. Tell me more about your species. And your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> genuine enthusiasm. History of my people. As opposed to ingenuine enthusiasm. Share our culture with others. <coughs> with others. History. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. That's actually pretty Frankly, interesting. We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Goodbye, Ambassador. Din, talk to me, bro. bro. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <laughs> I, I don't know. I find it so funny the way they talk, I the, uh, the Elcor. Volus like, their voices are super deep, but at the same time, it's like, for you, it's the tone of voice they have and the way that they talk is so funny, I find. He's like, chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. Just find that so funny? Volus. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. 
we were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Huh. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Hmm. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dim. The Council favors your species greatly. <laughs> you are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Well, yeah, probably. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Nah, brah. We work hard. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Well, yeah. Kind of really? figured that. How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. <laughs> Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. <laughs> We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Well, neither do we. Like, what are you complaining about? Goodbye, Ambassador. Humans don't yes, have any say in galactic matters because they're not on the Council. Man. That's just the fat way it is. Not being on the Council, you don't get a say in galactic matters. He's actually in a better... The Volus are in a better position than humans right now. The only reason humans have so much attention is because they're the newcomers. So everyone's wondering what's going to happen with them next, if they're going to join the Council and all that crap. Yo, what, Solarian? By the way, I'm gonna take my time and explore. Just a little heads up, guys. I've played this game uh, several times before, but I never took the time to actually, like, genuinely explore the area and do, like, a playthrough of the full to my, uh, the fullest extent. So I'm gonna do that. All the Elcor are so friendly. Like, what the heck? I can't believe I landed a job here. So wait, is there something up here? Oh, hello, Executor Palin. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. <clears throat> Was there something you needed, Commander? Um... No, I just want to know about CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. <laughs> We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Um... What do you <laughs> know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. It's a bit naive, wouldn't you say? Sometimes certain rules need broke. Yeah. 
Sorry, I'm illiterate. Sometimes certain rules need to be broken in order to preserve galactic peace. Like, there are limits to that, but I do, to an extent, believe that there are some rules that need to be broken in order to actually keep people safe. And this applies to real life. Like, honestly, someone, I heard this quote one time, and I've stood by it. I, I, I agree and I believe in following the law and all that, but what good are laws and rules if they stop you from, uh, if they stop us from saving people's lives? Like, honestly. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. Mm-hmm. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. Shush. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. They're important. That's why... <clears throat> like, I'm gonna turn into a little bit of a com comic book uh, discussion right now. That's why um, Gotham, a city like Gotham City, needs someone like Batman. Someone who can't be held to the limits of the law. Someone who is able to do what is necessary in order to stop uh, the evil that comes out of the world and keep the innocence that, that exists within the world safe. Batman, people like Batman, people that aren't bound by the law, are necessary in order to keep people safe. Spectres are important. The galaxy needs people like that. <laughs> people who do the dirty jobs. Mm -hmm. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? If it gets the job done, yeah. Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Maybe. But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. Never. Interesting. Tell me about your uh, investigation, Executor. Your... I believe he's investigating into, um... Saren, I believe. Actually, one sec. Hold on. Alright, um, one sec, I'm gonna turn up my game a little bit. My microphone. <clears throat> wow, well, yeah. Sorry. I'm, uh, just adjusting the sound settings real quick. Probably gonna edit this out of the video when I upload it. Just give me one sec, guys. Alright, that sounds good. I just uh, did a little sound test. Should be good. The 30 is fine. Alright. Tell me about Tell the investigation. Me about your investigation into Sarah. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Darn it. Tell me about your attitude towards humans. You don't seem to like us very much. Like, what, what the heck is up with that, dude? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No. Just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have We're not fight. favorites, bro. The council treats us like second class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? I'll be going now. Goodbye. All right, one sec, guys. I need to check something real quick. Sorry, I'm just checking something real quick. Okay. <clears throat> I was just checking my current version of uh, Audacity because sitting there talking to Executor Palin made me think to myself, I'm curious if I can um, come up with a uh, 
if I can create the, if I can come up with the uh, audacity effects to do, uh, make my voice sound like a Turian voice. I want to do that. I know it's possible. I've heard people do it before. I just need to uh, figure out the different uh, steps I need to take in order to actually make my voice sound like that. And I can make my voice sound like a Reaper voice. I've, I actually made a video of um, a Reaper impression. I didn't upload it, but uh, not to YouTube. I put it on my personal Facebook page. But, but yeah, you should actually. I made a second channel uh, specifically for doing voiceovers, voice impressions, um, and also possibly doing uh, movie and TV show reviews and just discussions. Essentially, pretty much more of a. Like, this channel exists for my YouTube uh, video game. This, this, tw uh, my, like, my. The, the, the YouTube channel that you're watching right now, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, exists as my video game channel where I do all my gameplays, let's plays, um, videos, just playing games. Whereas I made a separate channel where it's mostly going to be um, primarily voiceovers and voice uh, impressions. However, al I'm also probably going to have a section of uh, that page is also, or that YouTube channel is also going to exist as a um, sort of like a uh, TV show and movie type of um review slash discussion uh channel if that makes any sense um so yeah and i made the reaper impression and i'm considering uploading it to that channel let me guys let, uh, you guys should uh let me know let me know in the comments if you would be interested in watching um me do various impressions of different characters from movies tv shows games, whatever. If you have any ideas for completely original voices you want me to try out, let me know. Leave it in the comments, and then I will take those comments and use them to, uh, as kind of like the foundation for my very first voiceover video on my, uh, second channel. So, yeah. I'll also put a link to that second channel in the description of this video, too, so you guys can go over there and, uh, subscribe so you get updates on that when that happens. If you're interested, that is. So, yeah.